Zuko back with the birds. Another Shadowlands video. This is a this is a quick video here. Hold on. First of all, I want to show you guys this. Look at 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 this. My girlfriend got me these. She's freaking amazing. Look at this thing. Look at this. We're taking a break from um. We're taking a break from the mugs with the deer right now and and all the because because we got this now. Oh my god. This it's so it's so cool. All right. Enough of that. Let me look at this really quick. I want to I want to talk about something really quick. I've been having a chat with Valerio DeVivo in the comments. Thank you so much for commenting. Thank you for the discussion. Um, I just wanted to make this video to help you understand the math that I've been doing when it comes to Primordial Wave on Enhancement Shaman in particular. So let's look at that. I've got my combat log open here. This is what we're going to be looking at. I'm going to go step by step through what the lightning bolt damage does. For those of you other guys who don't know what's going on, Primordial Wave for Enhancement Shaman, when you throw the Primordial Wave, it um, causes your next lightning bolt to do 150% of the normal damage. It says normal damage. Now, I think uh, Valerio's contention in the comments was that um, even if you have Maelstrom stacks, it doesn't affect the Primordial Wave lightning bolt, but I think it does, and I'm going to try and show that here, okay? So... Let's start with a regular lightning bolt. Our regular lightning bolt is doing 1693 nature damage, okay? Almost 1700 nature damage. Okay, great. That's a good start. Now, we're going to do a primordial wave infused lightning bolt with no maelstrom stacks, okay? So, our initial lightning bolt did 1800 damage like normal, and then the the primordial wave lightning bolt did 2600. So, that looks all normal to me. If you're just doing, if you were to just cast Lightning Bolt after casting Primordial Wave, it would do 2,600 damage or whatever it is. Where is it? Um, down here, 2,600 damage. Okay, that's what we're looking at there. Now, what if we have a Maelstrom infused Lightning Bolt? Does the Lightning Bolt from Primordial Wave also benefit from our Maelstrom weapon stacks? And I, I, I'm, I'm arguing that it does. That it gets both buffs. And I'm going to try and show you that. So we'll build up stacks. Okay, here comes our primordial... Oh, sorry, first of all, I'm just going to show you what a Maelstrom-infused lightning bolt looks like. Okay. It did 3,500. Okay. Our normal one only does 1,700. This does double the damage because that's how Maelstrom weapon stacks work, right? Now, let's see if we do a Maelstrom-infused... Primordial Wave Lightning Bolt. What does that look like? We're just going to build up stacks here. Okay, we got it ready to go. We're going to press Primordial Wave. Then we're going to press Lightning Bolt. Look, it did 5,200 damage. So, my contention here, we did a regular Lightning Bolt to 1,700. A Primordial Wave Lightning Bolt is about 2,500. So, it's benefiting. So, the Primordial Wave is buffing the Lightning Bolt. If you have five stacks of Maelstrom Weapon, and then you press Primordial Wave, it does double the damage. It gets the Maelstrom Weapon effect bonus, and it also gets the Primordial Wave bonus. So it's getting the 150% of normal damage, and it's getting your Maelstrom Weapon effect, which ends up being about 110% more damage on top of that. Now, if you were to just punch that into a calculator, the math doesn't really work out. So here's what I want to say, especially to you, Valerio, if you're watching this. This is clearly benefiting from both effects because you're getting, instead of it just doing like a, um, our Maelstrom infused lightning bolt does 3,600. A primordial waved lightning bolt only does 2,500 or 2,400 as we saw at the beginning. But if you combine the two of them together, it does end up doing 5,200 nature damage. And if you spread flame shocks around, it will do 5,200 nature damage to all of the people that have flame shocks on them. Ready for this? Oh, we got a whole bunch of procs. Watch this. We have all these flame shocks out. I'm going to press lightning bolt. Are you ready for this? It hit all of them. And it did. It crit for this one. So it did 5,400, 5,300, 5,100, 5,300. It did 10,000 on this one because it obviously got a crit. Here's my point. 
it does benefit from the Maelstrom stacks that you have and from the Primordial Wave buff itself. It combines the two of them together and produces this 5200, 5500 damage Lightning Bolt. And that Lightning Bolt will cleave to all the targets that you have um, Flame Shocks on. Okay? That's what'll happen. If you were to just punch it into a calculator, the math doesn't really make sense. And I, I think maybe that's where we're getting this hiccup, is that if you were to just type in like 1700 damage times 150 percent times 110 percent it doesn't work so the math that they're doing here is particularly the maelstrom weapon math is different and i'm not entirely sure how they're how they're sort of calculating it um it might be like additive versus multiplicative do you understand what i'm saying there so take that take that you know with a grain of salt however you want to take that but here's the ultimate result here you can see in our combat log is that we are doing the 5300, the 5300, 5400, we got a crit there. That's happening. So what you want to do as best as possible with this build is get a flame shock out, press primordial wave, get a second flame shock out, and wait until you have your maelstrom infused lightning bolt, and then press it. Boom. There you go. So you got the that one hit for uh, 6500, 5700, 5400, 10k. So we got a bunch of crits there. Um that's that's what I'm that's my that's what I want to say to you is that I believe that it benefits from both buffs and it'll also spread both of those buffs to every target that that has a flame shock on them um when you use excuse me the primordial wave buff so that's that's I believe how that works okay if you want to if you want to keep talking about it in the comments I'm more than happy to keep going on it but I'm pretty sure that this is how this works and that this is the intention from Blizzard is that it's going to benefit both from your Maelstrom stacks and from your Primordial Wave buff itself. It combines the two of them together to make a huge lightning bolt, and you can cleave that to multiple people. Um, so, yeah, I believe that's it. And um, that's all I wanted to say in this video. I just wanted to show that little test. I hope that kind of clears up some of the math. This is just, from my perspective, this is what I'm seeing on the combat log here. I've done all the different testing. Like I said, if we do a regular lightning bolt, it's only about... Um, 1600 right now if we have a maelstrom infused lightning bolt it will do double damage right one more time i'll just i'll just go through it just one last time to show you so our initial lightning bolt is only about six we don't have flushcraft on that's why it's lower oh, i can't even get the stacks built up this is okay regular one was about seven, 1600 the maelstrom infused one is about 3300 if we keep going here we're gonna press primordial wave if you get the reset on primordial wave it's so Friggin' good, man. It's so good. So it's 1,600 to 3,300 to 5,600. 5,700 is the last one. So <clears throat> there's two lightning bolts that show up there. My initial lightning bolt that I cast is the Maelstrom Infused Lightning Bolt doing 3,700. See that there? Then the 5,700 damage lightning bolt is the Primordial Waved buffed lightning bolt that is also benefiting from my maelstrom um generation so here's what's really cool about this <clears throat> hold on kiddo here's what's really cool about this you can press flame shock and then press primordial wave look we got a reset which is really crazy we're gonna press flame shock we're gonna press primordial wave we have four flame shocks out right now okay we have four flame shocks out right now we're gonna press lightning bolt and it's going to hit all four of them. There, it went off right there. Here's what's crazy about this. I only consumed one, like, five stacks of Maelstrom Weapon, which is that which, which constitutes one empowered ability. One empowered Lightning Bolt that only consumed five stacks of Maelstrom Weapon, but it cleaved to four targets. So it's as if I cast an empowered Lightning Bolt four times. That's what this is doing for you. I only cast it once, but it's acting as though I cast it four times because it it gives the Maelstrom infused buff to every single lightning bolt that goes out. And they, I hit four targets here with a flame shock, so I got four Maelstrom infused lightning bolts. Okay, I actually I missed this this one here, but the point is you, that 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 that's my point. You get all your flame shocks out. Every one of the lightning bolts that hits a flame shocked target will benefit from your Maelstrom infused lightning bolt so it's pretty insane because 
the amount of resources that you're cheating there. You're cheating all these maelstrom generation. You're basically spending, if you hit four targets with your flame shock, then you are spending 20 stacks of maelstrom weapon. That's what you're getting damage in damage wise. You're getting 20 stacks of maelstrom weapon, but you're only having to spend five. You spend one empowered lightning bolt and it hits four targets. That's 20 stacks of maelstrom weapon that are being consumed damage wise, but you don't actually have to consume them to get the to get the desired effect. So that's that's what I wanted to say. That's what I wanted to showcase in this video. I think that it's actually kind of strong. There's actually something that might, there's a build here that's kind of cool. And I'm going to show on my next video the elemental build with Primordial Wave, which I think is a better, it's a better match. I think for Enhancement Shaman, this is not the best covenant you could pick. As I said in my other video, you could probably go Night Fae or you could go um, Kyrian, it would be better. But for Elemental Shaman, I think there's something here and I'm going to show it in my next video. Okay, so stay tuned for that. Thank you so much again, Valerio, for the comments. Let's keep having this discussion. Let me know if you think that I'm crazy or if this makes sense to you. And I will see you guys in the next one.